Hey everyone, so for this video you're probably wondering like right off, Haley, why does your eyes and face look weird? Well, that is because I have no mascara on because as you probably guessed by the title, I am doing a first impression. And this actually happens to be my first, first impression. So I have a really, really exciting product that I'm going to be trying out today, and I literally have not seen one review on it for YouTube. Like, I don't know when this is going to go up, but maybe there will be by then. I can't even find it anywhere online, but I found it in stores. Like, it's that much that I can't find it anywhere, so I'm really excited to do this because for those of you who need want to know what it's like, I'm going to show you. So yeah, let me just show you what this product is. This is the CoverGirl Flamed Up Mascara, and this is the new Hunger Games Catching Fire edition of the original Flamed, like the original one is the Flamed Out, and this is called the Flamed Up. I've never tried the Flamed Out. I heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some people loved it, some people really didn't like it. I think it didn't get the best reviews, but this is supposed to kind of curl them up more than the other one was more like an out, I don't know. I'll see how it goes, but I really am excited to try this out. So I'm going to do it all on camera. I haven't even used this at all yet. As you can see, it's still in the packaging. And I just love the Hunger Games. And they have a whole collection, but really this was the thing that intrigued me most. So I only got this from the Hunger Games collection. I'll start with like packaging and then the outside packaging I really like. So now let's just see what the actual packaging is like. So yeah, I just got this out and I really do like the packaging. I feel like it's very like sturdy looking in a way. I don't know. I feel like it's a nice tube shape. I, I don't know. I like the packaging and what's different from the original um, Flamed Out, this has a purple cap instead of just being all orange. And so it says Flamed Up Mega Curl. So my hopes are this going to curl. So if this doesn't like curl my lashes well, I'm going to be quite disappointed. I have naturally like curly lashes. So like my natures, I never have really like a problem with them drooping but this better curl them to the extreme if it's promising that and I don't know I'm just really excited so let's go into the brush oh my gosh there's like a line across my chest has that been there the whole time probably has it kind of has like a curved shape wand like it reminds me kind of like the falsies which I love or like the Coverall Crump Cluster, but this reminds me a lot of the Falsies. And I know the other brush for the Flamed Out was like kind of like a squiggle shape. I don't know, instead of a picture like right here on the side or something. But this is definitely a different brush shape, meaning it could be totally different than the original. So, I don't know. Let's go try it out on my lashes. So, I'm gonna be putting this on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be brushing this on to my lashes. So this seems to be like giving me a pretty good coating, which I like. And it seems to be doing like a decent job at curling them. I'm just going to keep applying some more coats and show you the finished look. So yeah, that is the finished um, mascara after applying some coats. I really do like it. It gives me some awesome volume and it's not clumping. So I'm going to... Don't have it, I'm gonna put it on the other eye now and show you what it looks like. So I have the mascara all on my eyes. I actually really do like the way it looks. I think it's not the biggest volume, but it did do its job. It curled them pretty well. They are actually like quite curled, I must say. But one thing I noticed is they smudged so much like on up here. Like when I was doing it and applying, which never has happened with me for mascara. So I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, I'll check in with you probably like later tonight to show you how it looks up, holds up later in the day because this does seem to be quite smudgy. So yeah, I'll pick up with this later, but so far I really do like this mascara. Um, I think it does basically what it says it does. So yeah, I'll fit you in later. Bye. Hey everyone, so it is now at the end of the day. Sorry if the lighting's like really bad. Camera's a bit shaky just cause I don't have any of like my stuff set up cause I just got back from being out cause I put this on at about like I'm gonna say around like five because I like redid my makeup and stuff and then I went out because I had some music stuff at school and I had to work on my homecoming float because I am my class secretary so I have to do all that stuff. So I'm just doing an update on how I like the mascara. So I have to say that I love this mascara. It's really 
held up well over the past couple hours of moving around, running around, painting, singing, all that. It's done a great job. It hasn't smudged, which is awesome. And really, I just like the mascara a lot. I think the packaging is really nice. Yeah, I like the packaging. I, I don't know, I just like it all. If you could see, the mascara looks great. It looks exactly the same way as the um, clips I showed from before. And I know this camera's probably shaking, so sorry about that. Um, I have it on like a makeshift tripod on my lap. It's, it's bad. Um, but yeah, so I really like this mascara. I would have to give it about a 7 out of 10. Not because it's like, it's not the best mascara ever, but I have to say it's definitely one of the favorites I've tried. I think it's very natural looking, but very like big. I don't know. I took some pictures where it looked huge, so I'm definitely going to insert all that stuff in. You're going to see all of it. But yeah, so I really do recommend this mascara. I definitely think that the rest of the Hunger Games collection should be interesting to try, and I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Make sure to tell me, like, if you want me to try out any more things or whatever, and if you liked this first impression video, because I've never done a first impression video and I've always wanted to do one, um, because I've only ever done, like, a review of Baby Lips, but I've never done, like, a trying it out on the spot. So, yeah. This is the mascara. I really, really like it, and I do recommend it. I think it's really cool, and it's Hunger Games edition, so if it's Hunger Games edition, I'm I'm all for it. Um, yeah, make sure to leave any video requests or anything like that below. If you, like, did a review on this mascara, did something with it, make sure you could leave that as a video response, tweet me it, or tell me, like, if you've managed to find the collection, because I haven't seen anyone else be able to find it. I have no idea, like, how it was at my store. But yeah, I thought this would be good to do so you could know how that mascara is. Um, yeah. So, that's all. And I will see you in my next video. And sorry if I'm, like, totally low energy right now. I'm just totally, like, pooped from the day. Yeah. Bye.